Robert Leslie Shapiro, is an American lawyer. He is best known for being the short-term defense lawyer of Eric Menendez in 1990, and a member of the dream team of O.J. Simpson's attorneys that successfully defended him from the charges that he murdered his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ron Goldman, in 1994. He later turned to civil work and co-founded LegalZoom and RightCounsel.com, appearing in their television commercials. Chapter 1 Early Life and Education Shapiro was born in Plainfield, New Jersey, to a Jewish family. He graduated from Hamilton High School in Los Angeles in 1961 and UCLA in 1965, with a B.S. in Finance. He obtained his Juris Doctor from Loyola Law School in 1968. At UCLA, he pledged the Jewish fraternity Zeta Beta Tau with his best friend, Roger Cossack. Chapter 2 Personal Life Shapiro married Linnell Thomas on March 8, 1970. They had two sons, Grant and Brent. After his son Brent's death from a drug overdose in 2005, he founded the Brent Shapiro Foundation, a non-profit organization with an aim to raise drug awareness, for which he serves as chairman of the board, as well as Pickford Lofts, a rehabilitation facility. Chapter 3 – Legal Practice and Books About the Law Shapiro was admitted to the State Bar of California in 1969. He has represented famous athletes, most notably O.J. Simpson, Darrell Strawberry, Jose Conseco, and Vince Coleman. He has represented other celebrities as well, such as Johnny Carson, Christian Brando, Linda Lovelace, The Kardashians, and F. Lee Bailey. In 1998, he sued Strawberry over unpaid legal fees. The case was eventually settled out of court. In the case of Lyle and Eric Menendez, who murdered their parents in 1989, Shapiro arranged the surrender of Eric in 1990, who at the time of Lyle's arrest was in Israel for a tennis tournament. He later represented Eric during their first arraignment, until the defense was handed over to Leslie Abramson, who represented Eric until the brothers' conviction in 1996. Shapiro played a crucial role in the O.J. Simpson murder case. Already associated with Simpson, on June 17, 1994, he was present at Robert Kardashian's press conference pleading for Simpson to turn himself in to the police. According to Shapiro, Simpson's psychiatrists agreed that his letter to friends, which Kardashian read over the air, was a suicide note. On television, Shapiro appealed to Simpson to surrender. Later that day, after the famous low-speed Bronco chase, Simpson surrendered to the police, with Shapiro's assistance. When the actual trial began, Shapiro led the defense team, but later ceded lead chair to Johnny Cochran. Despite their team's success in freeing Simpson after the verdict, Shapiro criticized his fellow Dream Team attorneys F. Lee Bailey and Cochran, for bringing race into the trial. In his book The Search for Justice, a defense attorney's brief on the O.J. Simpson case, Shapiro states that he does not believe Simpson was framed by the LAPD for racial reasons but does believe the verdict was correct, due to reasonable doubt. Shortly after the Simpson trial, Shapiro steered his practice away from criminal defense towards civil litigation. Shapiro was sued by record producer Phil Spector, for refusing to return a US$1 million retainer for legal services. Spectre ultimately settled the lawsuit against Shapiro for an undisclosed amount. On April 30, 2007, Shapiro was the subject of an unpublished appellate opinion involving allegations that he had forwarded a request from his client to the client's CEO to remove 12 duffel bags, each containing $500,000 in cash, from the client's apartment, prior to a judge's order freezing the client's assets. In that opinion the California Court of Appeal held that Shapiro's law firm, Christensen Miller Fink Jacobs Glazer Weil and Shapiro LLP, could be held liable for his alleged misconduct, even though Shapiro holds no equity interest in the firm, and is not a true partner. Ultimately, Shapiro settled the case for $450,000, without admitting any wrongdoing. Shapiro was represented Steve Wynn and Wynn Resorts, actress Eva Longoria, Rob Kardashian, Occidental Petroleum Corporation, Rockstar, 
and Diamond Resorts International. Shapiro represented the colorful Malibu psychiatrist and stem cell marketeer William C. Rader before the Medical Board of California, in an unsuccessful attempt to prevent permanent revocation of Rader's medical license. Shapiro frequently writes about the law, and has published multiple books on the subject. In 2013, the National Law Journal named him on the list of the 100 most influential lawyers in America. Chapter 3 Section 1 Children's Book Shapiro created Somo the Sober Monkey, a character in the children's book Somo Says No, which has an anti-drug theme. It is made available to schools free of charge. Chapter 3 Section 2 Business Ventures Shapiro is the co-founder of Legal Zoom, Chudazzle, and Write. Council.com. Chapter 4, Portrayals in Films and Television. Shapiro is known as a celebrity lawyer and as such is a celebrity himself. He has appeared as himself in a number of films and television series, including the film Havoc. He has also been portrayed by actors in film dramatizations of the O.J. Simpson murder trial. Bruce Whites portrayed Shapiro in the Fox TV movie The O.J. Simpson Story. Ron Silver portrayed Shapiro, in the CBS TV miniseries American Tragedy. John Travolta portrayed Shapiro in the FX cable TV miniseries American Crime Story, The People v. O.J. Simpson. Though Travolta's performance was met with mixed reviews, he was nominated for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Limited Series or Movie, which he lost to his co-star Sterling K. Brown, who portrayed Christopher Darden. As one of the producers, however, Travolta won the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Limited Series. Douglas Olson portrayed Shapiro in the NBC miniseries Law and Order, True Crime, The Menendez Murders. Olsen appeared in the second episode as Eric Menendez's lawyer, who surrendered him to the LAPD from Israel. Shapiro was then mentioned several times by Eric Menendez in the seventh episode during a conversation with O.J. Simpson. Himself in an Alan Smithy film, Burn Hollywood Burn.